Yo, what's up, yo? Humphrey J. Campbell here, Mr. Campbell Comics himself. <laughs> I say that like I'm some world famous celebrity or something, which I clearly am not. Anyways, I'm working on the intro. <laughs> so, I was just chilling the other day and I thought, you know what? I wanna get serious with YouTube, you know? I wanna, I wanna upload more regularly, you know? Maybe at least twice a week. But then I was like, okay, what's, what's my channel about? My channel is mostly about like art and animation, specifically animation and that's the type of content that I want to be uploading to YouTube. Unfortunately, as many of you might know, it takes a shit ton of time to make an animation and I'm actually planning to make a, a, an animated series that I will be posting at least once a month because again, it takes a really long time to to, um, to animate but like I was thinking in the like in between that I could be uploading um, speed paint videos like this one because I thought you know it's, it's not really that hard to make a speed paint video you just have to screen record yourself and do some editing you know speed it up and all that which is which isn't so hard so but then I was like I, I don't want to just upload a speed paint speed see people that I can speak <laughs> a speed paint video on its own I want it to be interesting. So how, how can I make it interesting? Well, I could have some music playing in the background, but also, what if I added an extra element to it? I'm sure there are other um, YouTubers who do this as well, but then I was like, you know, I'm gonna try it myself and see how well it goes. And the idea is to tell stories while the speed paint is playing in the background. And I'm not claiming to have the most interesting life ever, but I have had some pretty interesting stuff at least I think they're interesting and pretty funny situation that have happened to me throughout my life so I was like I like telling stories because like you know I do animation and animation is all about storytelling I also do comic books you know so I was like I, I enjoy telling stories so why don't I just do that I'm just gonna tell stories through my my videos and hopefully you know a lot of you find them interesting and funny and enjoyable but like never gonna know unless you try so here's me giving you my all <laughs> um so okay the way i structured these videos is in the beginning i'm going to talk about it in the first half of the video i'm going to talk about uh, the art that i'm doing like what i'm working on on screen while it's playing and then in the second half of the video i'm going to tell you guys a story about something that happened to me at some point in my life where they be in the present oh in the past most is gonna be in the past you know I've had some pretty funny stuff happen to me in my life um so so yeah I wanna I wanna do that you know I wanna see and see if it works out if it doesn't who cares you know I, I enjoy doing this I enjoy telling stories so I'm still gonna do it anyways and for those who do enjoy watching them and listening to them they will for those who don't then I guess they won't <laughs> it's fine it doesn't matter um, I mean it does but it doesn't matter you know what I'm saying um, so so yeah and, uh, I'm gonna be uploading these videos every Tuesday and Thursday and like I said uh, at the beginning of every month I'm gonna try to be uploading uh, those episodes oh yeah and the, by the way the animation that I'm working on is actually based off this character that I'm drawing right now uh, Megamorph I actually have an ongoing comic book series about him that I post on webtoon uh, yeah, by the same title, Mega Morph. Anyways, I'm gonna stop plugging myself now and just get to the point. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna first. I'm gonna to talk about the. I'm gonna talk about uh, what I'm working on, and then on the second half of the video, like I said, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. And today's story is about the time I peed my pants in class. It was uh, sixth, sixth, sixth grade. I can't speak. Sixth grade. Yeah. So it wasn't recent, don't worry. I, I, I don't pee my pants regularly, but I used to, I mean, I, can, <laughs> I used to when I was younger, but then again, I was younger and I didn't know any better. But of course, sixth grade isn't that young, but I will explain everything, okay? I'm gonna stop defending myself now. I mean, I actually give you guys an idea. might insinuate that I should still do pee my pants, which I don't. Um, so, uh, okay, I'm just gonna, let me just briefly talk about what I'm working on here. Uh, I recently 
I've been watching um, the Ghost of Tsushima gameplay through um, the Red Bread. Uh, I'm sure some of you know the channel. He he, he does um, video game work walkthroughs, right? So I've been watching the Ghost of Tsushima lately, and I really like. I, I, I'm a big fan of Samurai. You know, Samurai Jack was one of my favorite shows when I was growing up, you know, and uh, so I just, I, I like the whole culture and lore behind um, Samurai, so I've been enjoying the, the walkthrough because I'm pretty lazy when it comes to playing video games myself. I do enjoy playing them, but like I often like, I start and then I get halfway and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna take a break to do something else and then I forget about it and then a year goes by and I'm like, you know, I should, I should, I should probably get back to that and play. And then I do, and then the cycle repeats itself, you know. I play for like a couple of weeks and then I, I drop off. So I enjoy watching people playing video games more than I enjoy playing them myself. So, so yeah, um, so I was like, I want to do something along, along the lines of, you know, the Ghost of Tsushima video game uh, art. Well, not video game art, but like, I want to do something with the with the samurai art but i want to bring it back i want to bring it home so what and why don't i draw one of my characters as um uh, i believe his name is uh jin sakai the main character the main protagonist of the ghost of tsushima so i'm gonna do something along the lines of that so i'm gonna draw so what i'm doing right now is i'm drawing my character my main character my original character megamorph as as Lord Sakai, basically, you know, as Jin Sakai, and I'm using the cover art of the the official cover art for the video game itself. The cover, I'm sure, it looks familiar from the image you're seeing right now on the screen. So I'm using that as inspiration. But instead of having him hold the mask like he does in the in the, in the original art, I'm having him hold a bowl of cereal. Because fun fact about my character is that he. He loves he loves um, cereal like he's obsessed with them you know he's obsessed with cereal and that's because it's a trait that I have okay I'm not really obsessed or addicted to cereal but I love I love having cereal like I grew up eating cereal it's kind of like my comfort food so I put that trait in my character as artists as most of you might know we we like to put ourselves in our characters kind of sounds a little narcissistic but you know it's our work it's, it's, it's your work of art you, you can do whatever you want you, you can you can pull whatever and you have to bring it back like you have to make it personal that way so that you enjoy doing it because you know it's something you can relate to yourself before others you have to put you have to make it so that like it's the characters relatable and i think the first step is to make them relatable to yourself first you need to be able to relate to the character that you're, you're creating and it is I'm rambling. Um, brief history about my character. His his real name, his human name, is uh, Zane Elliot Armstrong, and he has molecular manipulation. And yeah, he uses this molecular manipulation to basically alter his molecular and genetic structure. All that, you know, that uh, good science stuff. Basically, he can transform himself into what you're seeing on screen right now, which is like a seven foot brown skin fighting machine basically think of um the hulk and ben 10 put into one you know because i actually use those two properties to those two properties are the ones that inspired this character because i grew up watching those shows again you know so yeah he he can turn back he can turn like he can morph into megamorph and revert back to human at will basically um so, yeah, and he loves cereal and he, he just wants to be a superhero anyway if you want to learn more about him again you can either leave you can either ooh, lead <laughs> you can either read my comic book on webtoon or you can actually visit my instagram page you can see i post a lot of stuff on him there as well my instagram handle is the same combo comics i'll link everything in the description uh, anyways now let's get to the story about the time I peed my pants, uh, my pants. Why can't I not talk today? <laughs> the time I peed my pants in class. Like I said, it was this was back in sixth grade, and back then I was back 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 then I was extremely shy. 
and timid. I swear I could not like speak my mind. I couldn't defend myself. Like I was very timid. I was very like insecure about myself. All like I was I was a mess, you know? So keep that in mind. So um back in sixth grade when I was in primary school, whenever we go on break, we had this habit there was this lady who would sell this homemade juice and it was delicious. Like it was so good. Oh I miss that stuff so much. It was so good. So we would buy that and drink that with um you know with either uh whatever snacks we'd buy, you know samosas, you know, whatever, um chapati which is so easy by the way. I'm from I'm from Tanzania which is in East Africa so um I'm gonna try to translate these things to English. Uh, uh, samosas, that triangle in shape. I don't know. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. Samosas, or um, I think they're called Afina uh, samosa, the bitumbua, which is Swahili for I think they're called uh, rice cakes. Yeah, in English, the rice cakes, samosas, uh, chapati, which is like I guess tortilla, tortilla, tortilla. I don't know. If that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, any kind of snack would have it with the with the drink. So, on that particular day, I drank a lot of that juice. When we were on break, I drank so much of that. I drank so much of that with my friends. And actually, my friends were my bullies. The guys who bullied me would call me names. It was pretty sad, you know. Like I'd let them bully me. I'd let them call me names so they would let me hang out with them. Cause like I said, I was timid. I was shy. I couldn't stand up for myself, you know, so I just I would take it, you know, they'll call me names and I'd just be like, ha, that's funny, but then I'll be hurting on the inside. But then I didn't have any friends, so I would just let them do that to me so would, so they would let me hang out with them. You should not do that by the way you guys. You should not do that. That's that's sad. It's it's really sad. <laughs> Anyways, um me and my quote unquote friends that they had drank so much of it, right? So uh break goes by I guess you can also call it recess goes by we go back to class um, the subject was biology and that particular teacher who taught that subject she wasn't she wasn't the nicest person out there you know um, but she'd always tell us like you know if you want to use the bathroom use it before we start class because once I start teaching I ain't letting any of y'all go to the bathroom you know but then I didn't really feel like going to the bathroom, you know, I didn't feel the need to pee, you know, I was like, I can just stay in class, and even if during class, my, you know, I, I get the need to go to pee, to go pee, I can just ask permission, I mean, she's not a monster, she's gonna let me go, right? Wrong, I was wrong, so I sat there, you know, listening, I was bored, about 30, 40 minutes go by, and it hit me, my bladder hits me, it's like, yo, you need to go pee right now, like right now. And I was like, damn, okay, what do I do? Uh, I'm scared because I'm like, okay, I, I didn't like confrontation. I was like, what if I go up there and I ask her and she says no? So I said that, I was like, yeah, I can hold it in. So I said that for like 15, 20 minutes and my blood was like, no, you need to go right now. So I got up and actually, let me, let me explain the structure of our classrooms. The way we sat in class, there was like this really long bench like a really long desk and a bench that were connected together and three students would sit all together. And I was on the far left, which was right against the wall. So if I wanted to leave, I'd have to jump through the other two people who were sitting next to me before I can I can leave the desk, which is a long time if you need to pee really bad, you know? <laughs> uh, so I got up, I jumped over them, I went to the teacher, I was like, yo, can I use the bathroom? I really need to go pee. And she said no. She was like, no, I told your little ass to go to the bathroom before class starts. So now you're going to have to deal with your own shit. Okay, she didn't say that, but like, she might as well have. But she said no. She was like, go, go back and sit down. You're not going anywhere. I didn't even try to explain myself. I didn't try to defend myself. Like I said, I was timid and all that. So I went back and I said, I said for another 15 minutes and he was like, I can't hold it. I tried so hard. I tried so hard to hold it in. I tried so hard to hold it in. I just couldn't. My bladder just went, you know what? Fuck you. I'm just gonna let everything go. And I got up so fast, but I couldn't jump over the other two students fast enough because 
as soon as I landed, my pee just went off like a broken hose. You know, it was spraying, it was dripping, and we were wearing shorts. So I was running out of class with pee dripping, dripping out of my pants, you know, just dripping on the ground. I was so embarrassed, oh my goodness. I could hear the, the girls laugh as I ran out of class. Everyone was laughing. I remember I ran to the bathroom. By the time I got to the bathroom, all my pee was off. Like I had peed everything out. You know, I didn't even need to use the bathroom anymore because I turned my my pants into the, my pants became my and the entire classroom became my bathroom. So I sat in there. I was like, I'm not going back to class. Luckily, it was the last period. I think it was the last lesson for the day. So I was like, you know, I'm not going back to class. I'm just gonna stay in here. Two class ends, I'm gonna wait for everyone to leave, everyone to leave class, and then I'm gonna sneak back in the class, get my bag, and go home. So I just sat in there, I sat in there, I think the teacher sent someone to come and get me, and my friend came in there, I was like, yo, bro, are you okay? I'm like, nah, bro, I got my pants, I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, are you okay? And he's like, no, I'm not, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not okay, bro, I'm not. And he was like, yo, the teacher wants you to go back to class, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm not coming back. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back to class. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was like, you know, I'm not coming back. He just said it. I was like, bro, are you sure? I was like, no, nah, I'm not coming back. So he went back. Again, I sat in there until the, class, until the lessons were over. I heard the bell to indicate that it was home time. And I sat in there. And I, actually, actually, before my friend left, I told him, like, yo, when everyone leaves, when everyone leaves, just come and tell me. Okay, so that I can come and get my bag. He wasn't really okay. He wasn't really my friend friend. He was a classmate, and we would talk every now and then. But he was a good guy, you know, unlike the, the bullies that were my quote unquote friends. So class was over. Everyone left. My friends, the bullies came over here. See, they made fun of me. They're like, bro, how can you pee your pants in class? But anyways, long story short, he told me that class was over and everyone had left. And again, like I did. <laughs> like I planned to, I snuck to class, got my bag, and I left. But like, I was, oh my goodness, that was one of the most embarrassing, if not the most embarrassing thing that ever has ever happened to me. Luckily, the girl that I was crushing on wasn't in the same class. Now that's a story for another day. It's actually, I've had some pretty funny encounters with her as well, but that's a story for another day. So, um, yeah, that's what happened that day. I mean, I don't remember if I told my parents about it. Uh, the kids kind of talked about it for a couple more days and kind of, you know, faded out, as most things do. But I was famous for a couple of days, if not a week or so. <laughs> Everyone was talking about the kid who peed, who peed his pants in class, running out of class, well pee dripping, dripping out of him. Um, so yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let the, the, the speed paint play out. You guys can enjoy watching that, watching me finish up the, the story, the, the, the drawing. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I hope you guys at least had a good laugh. And, uh, as all YouTubers say, be sure to like share and as the other one subscribe and ring the bell if you want more of this leave a comment you know you're free to to make fun of me or whatever I mean, it doesn't matter <laughs> i think by now i've already people are like anyways feel free to type whatever it is you want down in the comment section and uh, yeah that's it you guys have a good one and uh yeah peace